<laughs> Alan, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Everyone's like going, dude, what, what are you doing? Just relax, guys. Just relax. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know what I've been going through tonight. Yes, I post too many videos, but, you know, it's not about viewership. It's about just showing you guys stuff. This crazy world that we are in the world's worst round Amiga channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Loading, by the way. And also, I'm uh, loading from the native controller of the 1200, not the faster. Yes, it's in there. Well, you already know that because I blew it with this, this info. I'm not loading off this controller yet because I just wanted to get this working. Now, I'm assuming I can just take my hard drive and plug it into this. It'll work. It'll be faster. And I did set the block size on this to be larger. And I did set the, the thing that controls how fast it can read and write to it. I did set that as well to, to the magic numbers that everyone tells me to set it to. So I don't know how that's going to play between these two. But anyway, let's go to this. Um, I'm going to drop it down in res because this is, that's, that's too big of a resolution. Actually, no, let's, let's do this. Let's do, let's do what I did, uh, when I had my, um, vampire. So I'm probably not going to sit here and watch you guys watch this whole thing render, but I just want to see what happens when I press render and see if it explodes or catches on fire. So the filtering part here, this is loading the images off the compact flash. So this is going to be slow because the compact flash is a maximum of like one megabyte a second. So again, I'm not running off of the 60 out of 60 controller, but uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. That's, yeah. That's a lot faster than my GVP 1230 plus. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Look at it go. This is a D1 resolution frame, which is basically uh, for uh, y'all. That's just like the, you know, the standard NTSC resolution 720 by 480 type. That's uh, That's pretty awesome, actually. I, I'm, uh, I'm excited. Ooh, let's do this, by the way. Um, mm -hmm, mm, yeah, a little warm, but it's just started. I'm going to get some, well, I have a heat sink compound. What I'm thinking about doing is not a fan because there's not a lot of space here. I'm thinking heat sink compound and then going to Home Depot and getting like some aluminum or aluminum, however you want me to say it. And just doing like a big, you know, conductor metal panel here. So heat sink, or heat sink, heat, heat sink compound, and then attach a piece of aluminum to just, just to help disperse heat that's coming off of this. I'm not doing any overclocking on this. This is probably, I mean, I guess this is a 50 megahertz. It could probably do up to maybe 60 megahertz, maybe 75. But even now, it's still not. I mean, it's, it's warm, but it's not crippling warm. And yeah, it's, it's cooking. It's booking. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. That last video, I was so depressed. But I wasn't depressed to the point of, like, throwing this Amiga out the window. Of course not. As I said, I don't give up. It's always a challenge when we do these things with the Amigas. It just took some doing. Now, what does this mean? Well, it does mean that this 68060 CPU which I got from the fellow in the UK, by the way, um, does, here, let me get this out of my way, does not work, or does not work with this card. Um, so I did notice that the pins were a little weird, but when I did insert it, I made sure all the pins were in there properly. But that one did, it just doesn't work. So I put the, one I purchased from our fellow Amigan back in here, and I made sure it was seated nice and evenly, nice and tight. I did some contact cleaner on here, despite the fact that this worked. I still did contact cleaner on here, and plugged this back in, wiggled it, 
Got the rainbow screen. Um, my PCMSA did not work. I'm assuming, I don't know why this didn't work. Uh, it didn't work with this installed. It didn't work with this installed. Uh, all I can say is this is apparently a victim of the move from California to South Carolina. So it was a little bit of a hassle to get the 68060 library, the new MMU library files installed. I had to basically yank the CF card and take it over to my PC and do WinUAE to get that going. That's a little bummer because I, I, I count on this CF system working to transfer files back and forth between my Amiga and my PC. So this is, this is depressing that this is not working. I even reinstalled the Easy ADF software and it just doesn't work. I plug it in and nothing happens. Um, and these are all the same compact flash cards I've always used. So I don't know what's going on there. If any of you guys know why this would just spontaneously stop working, um, maybe my Gale reset switch chip got loose. That's somewhere down there, I guess. That's probably, I'm hoping, maybe the culprit because a lot of these chips probably were loose. As I told you when I first brought this online, it didn't work. I had to open it up and start pressing down on things and then it started working. So maybe if I do that again and get the get the Gale fix chip pressed down again, this will start working again because I, I need this. If this doesn't work, that's, that's a pain. But hey, forget about that. The 060, look at it go. It's going, we're already on past 209, or sorry, 205. That's great. That is, that is, that is very, very fast. That is very fast. I'm, I mean, again, I'm not overclocking this yet. So it, it'd probably be unfair to compare it directly to the vampire because we know the vampire runs pretty quick, but let me uh, finger test it again. No, I can, I can hold my finger on there. It's, it's, I wouldn't say hot. I would say it's, it's, it's warm. It's very warm. But yeah, it's not like oh, I'm going to take my finger off it. But it's, I'm assuming it's running at 50 megahertz. So let's, let's hit escape because that's working and that's great. I'm very thrilled about that. And let us go back into everyone's most contested benchmark software. Uh, I did want to see something again real fast on that speed check. Um... Yeah, 680682 MMU is in use. And then memory, write, that's good. Uh, what does it say for boards? 02, okay. Um, and then drives, write, drive. So let's DH0. This, this should just be the regular speed because I'm not plugged into the 060 card. I'll probably do that next. So yeah, 1.2. Nothing amazing, but uh, you know, the memory, memory's there. Uh, so yeah, it's working. Um, I'm stoked, this is great. I, that's, I would never render D1 resolution animations, by the way, on my 1200. I would go down to 320 by 240, which is far more reasonable and enjoyable. Plus they make really fun ham eight animations that are portable and work on a lot of uh, AGA Amiga, so you don't have to have a big beefy system to play them. So thanks for playing, guys. This is the third video today. I'm bombing you with videos, not high quality videos and videos that are kind of rambly and boring, but I'm again, just having you experience the thrills and horrors of what it is to do this hobby. So when you go on eBay one night and you think, oh man, I need to get into this, you can see the terror that it generates going through making it work. Again, thank you. Alan, and thank you. Or is it, I keep saying Alan, but is it like a Lynn? It could be a Lynn. I don't know. It's A-L-E-N. And thank you, uh, Terrible Fire guys, and thank you, uh, Amigan guy, for selling me a chip that uh, works. And thanks for watching uh, three videos in one day, by the way. Good night.